welcome back to, I was going to say part two, I guess it's not a part two, um, welcome back to second attempt, there we go. Um, so I'm going to do another painting, I have already mixed my paints this time, last time I just used the paints, um, again these are just Dollar Tree um, tempera paints, so I know it's supposed to be acrylics but I'm going with what I have here. And I did use, I saw a video, uh, I'll try to remember to link it, but I saw a video that used this Dollar Tree Tacky Glue um, because it's all they had and it's all I had, so I didn't run out to the store again. So I used uh, one part paint, two part of the Tacky Glue. I feel like it's too thin this time. Um, and I used only like a couple of drops of water. Um, I actually used like a medicine dropper to like just drop some water in there. So anyway, that's what we have. That's what we're going with. Um, let's see how it turns out. So I only have three colors today. Uh, I have the purple, the green, and the red. This was kind of requested. Not really, but kind of. Um, but they wanted more like bright crimson red and um, like emerald green. But of course, when I added the tacky glue, it didn't come out like that. So... Um, I'm going to be adding in, I'm going to try to go with thin layers. Oh wow, I guess it's thicker than it seemed. I mean, it seemed kind of thin, but maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's going to be just right. Let's see. So yeah, I wouldn't have normally picked these colors. But I'm experimenting. It's looking pretty. So again, you just, um, it's called, the technique is called pour painting. And you just pour in the colors in different designs. And then you're going to put it on the um, canvas. And let it flow and let it do its thing. I hope you can hear me. I know last time the volume was kind of low, so I don't want to be screaming either. This is looking really cool. Oh, y'all can't even see it. And here I am working so hard to be so careful. <laughs> Doesn't it look really pretty? Oops, I started pouring down instead of to the side. I've watched so many videos, so I am sorry if I don't credit where I saw stuff, but I did see this on one to like pour it to the side on the cup and let it run down. Um, so I do apologize if I don't mention it. I'll try to put some links in the comment in the description box of where I saw some of these techniques. Again, some of them are just, you know, like a lot of people use them, so. It's not like it's one person came up with this, but, okay. I think I took my time in doing that, so it feels really good. I'm sorry, y'all can't see that. Um, look how pretty it looks. Okay, and I'm going to do what I saw was called, I think, tree ring. I'm going to try. Anyway, that's what I'm going to attempt. So you hold the cup with all the pretty colors and then you're going to go in like a circle when you pour. So I'm really concentrating now. <laughs> okay, tiny circle. That's harder than it looked. Tiny little circles and it'll expand out and make these rings. Like... You know when you cut a tree and it has all the rings showing how many years it is? So that's where this technique got its name from. <laughs> this takes like some concentration, y'all. Okay, and I'm realizing my board is crooked. There was lots of tips on not to do that too. And like I said, I'm just here just learning, so... Alright, 
um, I don't want to waste any paint, so I'm going to add this around the edges. Any extra that I have. scraping out every drop and these cups are just um they're like some insulated like to-go coffee cups that I had and I just cut them down again I didn't want to run out and like buy anything um right now I'm just learning seeing how I like this if it's something I want to keep doing and I was like, wow, these are probably like pretty expensive and I'm just like chopping them up. But I looked them up and they're actually like 24 cents each. So, you know, that made me feel a little better. <laughs> I was like, how much did I pay for these? Okay. So, last time, um, I have another video. So if you didn't see that, it's there. But it showed how difficult it is sometimes to get the edges. So I'm just going to try to cover the edges first, so then anything that's left won't look off, hopefully. And I did read, thank you for the comment, I did see the comment that these flat boards are not that great for this type of pour painting. Um, because they will warp and bend because there's so much paint. So I really appreciate all the suggestions you guys have given me, encouragement and comments. Um, but I did have this last one left, so I was like, well, I will do it and see what happens. So here we go. That looks really cool right there. It's so hard because sometimes it gets to like a point where you're like, ooh, that looks really good. I want to stop. <laughs> and yes, you could stop because it's art. So if you wanted to leave some of your canvas white, you could definitely do that. So yeah, I think mine was... Again, it's probably number one because it's tempera paint and not acrylics. It doesn't hold its shape as much. Um, and number two, because I use that Dollar Tree tacky glue instead of um, the floor, 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 however you say that. Um, so I think it's a little thin. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but we're going to put this up here. Trying to keep the paint on the board as much as possible. I'm trying to do it where y'all can see it, but yeah, I think my first one was the colors were too thick, and this one the colors were too thin, but there you go. I had almost like not quite enough paint on this one as well. It's still 
flowing. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but it is still moving. Okay, I think this is going to be a, something to be used like as a background. Like you could paint something or write something on top of it because, yeah, it's very thin. You can see the colors though. <laughs> I just rubbed my arm on there. like more paint down here this time so it doesn't quite show my fingerprints and stuff like the other one did. All right, I think I'm going with that. There are some bubbles in there. I've heard that you can pop them by blowing. It's not working for me. <laughs> it is really hard to see, oh, but there are some beautiful colors in there. Anyway, that is attempt number two, and I think I'm going to leave it at that. i cover these edges a little bit. But again, thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you for the comments. I do read them, and I do appreciate them. All the feedback, all the encouragement. Starting something new is never easy to do. But you just got to jump in and get started, even if it's Dollar Tree products. <laughs> Somebody's jealous. Oh, and I did read a comment. Um... Or it was on a video, sorry, I don't remember. But to make sure when you're laying it to dry that you lay it flat. Because if not, it will continue to run and it'll be all off to the side. So thank you for that as well. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.